then verify corruption and other information this always happen when you update your empty android phones over the air that's ota and after updating the file may not be compatible with the phone the problem we have with all these phone called china phones Is that their updates sometimes are not being tested before releasing it so what I'm going to do now I'm going to lose this phone because the phone needs a test point not only that it needs a test point but the test point must be done by professional so this is a sense of uh, knowing a little bit of hardware when you're into software I just open the phone let me lose the panel out for now let me remove the cover of a fingerprint and also gradually carefully remove a fingerprint as well then the next thing I will do is to lose the cover that covers the panel you have to be careful while doing that make sure you lose all the notes finish before you open this avoid uh, damaging the phone more So I've opened the cover. Now let's pretend there is no knots holding the panel. So if you try to open, reduce it up, it will be hard. So there must be a knot holding it. So let's lose the knot as well. Make sure you don't force it to open. Make sure you remove the SIM tray before doing this. Otherwise, you might break SIM tray. Good. So, this is the panel. You can apply your own methods. So this is the method that I use. But it was not used what uh, I'm using. But if you don't have any methods, you try this one. So this is the method I use. 
and it works for me. So you can use the one that works for you, but this particular one works for me. I have succeeded in opening it. Let me use it. Let me test it again. See whether it's still working. That is whether I can still boot. Meaning that I opened it uh, safely. Once a common. So nothing is breached. So it's still on it and showing then verify corrupt and the next thing now is we connect our test point to the ground people ask this question here i'm using a umt dango i've opened it umt mt v2 and you see how I connected the Infinix S six five five B and the Infinix twelve I through test point to the UMT dongle MT two flasher. I've downloaded the file. The file. It's about 5 gig and also took a lot of time before I downloaded it and I've also loaded it here. In case you have a SP2 you can use your SP2 but in SP2 you need the uh, Android utility or anything that can bypass the brom. So here I'm using UMT and UMT does not require all those steps. Once you have connected the test point, then don't have any problem rather to load your scatter file. And select as you can see what I selected here and start flashing the phone. But if it's a SP2, you still need something that can either connect or disable the preloader. So the phone is flashing. And it takes time depending on the PC speed or PC specification. Please, here yeah, I did not uh, select a preloader. Yeah, I untick preloader. I did not select preloader here. Yeah. So wait for the phone while it finish flashing. Then after flashing, you do other necessary things before you power up the phone. Flashing is still going on. 
flashing is still going on and make sure you don't shake the USB make sure the USB is connected throughout the process If you check here now, the flashing is done. But before we get ahead, we need to format the phone. So let's format the phone using the same uh, UMT, but you can use button uh, combination and do hard reset and the same thing. Or let me format the phone using the same UMT dango interface. This is formatted. Good. You can see the phone now. It's trying to power up. So once it does, we're good to go. The first time pattern of will take time. I hope you remember that. But after the first time, it will turn back to the normal time it takes to power up. There is a phone. Good, you can see it. So it's powered up. There we're good to go.